There was a famous monk in Thailand, Jokun Na, lived in Bangkok and would often be asked to give blessings. And he said the best blessing is to, to tell someone to do good, don't do evil. In other words, the blessings that come in your life come from your actions. So you want to be in a position where you can trust your actions. So you're not tempted to do anything unskillful, you're not tempted to do anything harmful. That means, one, you need the understanding of what's skillful and what's not, and two, you need the strength to do what's skillful, because sometimes it's hard. And abandoning what's unskillful, that's hard too sometimes. And you need the presence of mind to know what's going on in your mind so you can tell what's happening right away before it, something unskillful gets really big inside. This is why we meditate, to give ourselves those three qualities, the understanding, the, the strength, and the presence of mind. So when anything comes up in the mind, you're in a position where you can see clearly where this idea is going to lead, where this intention is going to lead, and you can decide whether you want to follow it or not. And you're not tempted to give in to the easy path just because you're too weak or too distracted. So we meditate to give the mind the strength and the understanding and the presence of mind. When we do that, it's a blessing to ourselves. It's interesting that when the Buddha says, when you act for your own welfare, he says, you abstain from harming others. When you work for the welfare of others, he says, it's when you get them to abstain from harming others. It's an interesting idea. It's worth thinking about, because we want to treat one another as agents, not just as the objects of our actions. We have to realize everybody else around us, they're an agent too. They have to make decisions. And if you want to help them, you want to help them make good decisions. That's your way of blessing them. So you bless yourself by meditating. You bless yourself by following the precepts. And when you give a good example like this, then you can go around and you can bless others. inspiring them to follow a good example, too.